You know what's funny about Greenland? It's probably the world's biggest false advertising case. I mean, the Vikings named it Greenland to attract settlers, but 80% of it is covered in ice. That's like calling a desert waterland. Technically, there's some water there, just not where you can see it. For over 5,000 years, the Inuit people have called this frozen landscape home. That's longer than we've had written history in some parts of the world. While modern scientists were busy scratching their heads about what might be under all that ice, the Inuit were basically sitting there going, Oh, you mean the ancient civilization under there? Yeah, we've been telling you about that for generations. It's kind of like when you tell your friends about this amazing restaurant, but they don't believe you until some food critic discovers it five years later. Except in this case, we're talking about an entire lost civilization that's been chilling under the ice sheet for centuries. What makes this frozen puzzle even more mind-bending is that we're not just talking about a few old tools or broken pots. Greenland's ice sheet has been playing the world's longest game of hide-and-seek with an entire civilization. And just like that one sock that disappeared in your laundry years ago, what's hidden under there might surprise you. Greenland's ice sheet is so massive that if it all melted, global sea levels would rise by 24 feet. That's enough to give every coastal city waterfront property they never asked for. But the real story isn't about what would happen if the ice melted. It's about what's already there, frozen in time like nature's own prehistoric refrigerator. The ice sheet isn't just some giant ice cube. It's more like a layer cake, with each layer telling a different story about Earth's past. Scientists have found that some parts of this ice are over 100,000 years old. Just for perspective, that's about 98,000 years before someone thought putting pineapple on pizza was a good idea. Back in 2019, researchers discovered something that made them spill their coffee all over their fancy research papers. Using advanced radar technology, think of it as an X-ray for ice. They found massive valleys and canyons hidden under the ice. We're talking about gaps in the bedrock bigger than the Grand Canyon. And trust me, that's not just a small crack in the ground, but these aren't just empty spaces. The ice has been preserving things like a giant freezer. And just like that freezer in your garage that's still holding your mom's lasagna from 2018, Greenland's ice has been keeping some pretty impressive leftovers. The temperature at the bottom of the ice sheet can be warmer than at the top. It's like having a heated basement under a frozen house. This weird temperature quirk has actually helped preserve any artifacts that might be down there, creating perfect conditions for a time capsule of ancient life. Scientists have found particles of ancient plants mixed in with the ice. These aren't just any plants. They're species that could only have grown in much warmer conditions. It's proof that Greenland once looked more like Minnesota than Antarctica. Some researchers even joke that the Vikings weren't lying about the green part. They were just a few thousand years late to the party. The ice has been slowly revealing other secrets, too. Recent radar scans have shown what appear to be the outlines of structures, not natural formations, but the kind that look suspiciously like they were built by human hands. You know how your dog buries their toys in the backyard and forgets about them until next spring? Well, Mother Nature did something similar with an entire civilization. And while modern scientists debate about what all these discoveries mean, the Inuit people just nod knowingly. Their ancestors must have been sitting around their fires thinking, should we tell them about the ancient city under there or let them figure it out themselves? This brings us to a fascinating moment in history. In 1965, scientists first brought their shiny new radar equipment to Greenland. The Inuit elders watched them set up their machines with the kind of amusement you get watching someone use a calculator to figure out 2 plus 2. After all, their people had carried the secrets of what lay beneath the ice for thousands of years passing them down as carefully as a master chess player planning their next move. The Inuit Oral History is basically the world's longest-running podcast series, stretching back thousands of years. Each generation has passed down stories about Greenland's past with the precision of a master chef sharing a secret family recipe. And just like that recipe, every detail matters. These stories aren't your typical back-in-my-day tales. They're packed with specific details about times when Greenland was warmer or greener and home to people who built permanent structures. That's right. While historians were scratching their heads about who might have lived there, the Inuit were sitting on historical records more detailed than my aunt's gossip diary. One particularly fascinating detail in their oral histories describes stone houses buried under ice and snow. 
Modern archaeologists initially dismiss these stories faster than a teenager dismisses their parents' fashion advice, but the recent radar scans have shown structures that match these descriptions perfectly. It's as if the Inuit had X-ray vision all along, except their superpower was simply paying attention to their ancestors. The Inuit elders also spoke of times when trees grew where now only ice exists. Scientists initially rolled their eyes at this claim until they found preserved tree remains under the ice sheet. Talk about an I told you so moment that took a few centuries to land. The Inuit must have the patience of saints waiting for modern science to confirm what they've known since before the invention of sliced bread. Their stories even include detailed descriptions of climate patterns and how the landscape changed over time. They knew about the relationship between wind patterns, ice formation, and animal migration routes long before meteorologists showed up with their weather balloons and computer models. It's like they had their own version of the Weather Channel, except instead of getting it wrong half the time, they actually knew what they were talking about. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Inuit knowledge is how it combines practical observation with historical record-keeping. They didn't just pass down stories about hidden civilizations, they maintained accurate information about where these places were located, what they looked like, and how they changed as the ice advanced. Modern scientists are now finding evidence that backs up these locations with the precision of a GPS, minus the recalculating route part. While the Inuit kept their knowledge alive through stories, the ice itself had a few surprises in store. You wouldn't believe what started popping up once that frozen blanket began to thaw. I'm talking about the world's biggest archaeological freezer, because in 2017, researchers hit the historical jackpot when the ice started giving up its secrets. First came the tools, stone implements that looked about as fresh as the day they were made. The ice had preserved them so perfectly, you'd think they'd been vacuum sealed by a prehistoric Tupperware party. The collection of artifacts reads like an ancient Home Depot catalog. Stone scrapers sharp enough to still get the job done? Check. Bone needles that could probably handle your winter coat repairs? Absolutely. Wooden handles with the grain still visible after thousands of years? You bet. The preservation is so good, one archaeologist joked that they should open a Stone Age repair shop. But in 2019, a team found what they first thought was just another chunk of ice. Turns out it was a piece of ancient leather, preserved so perfectly you could still see the stitching patterns. That's right. We're not just finding random objects, we're finding actual craftsmanship. It's like discovering your great-great-great ad about 200 more greats-grandmother's handiwork and realizing she was better at sewing than you are. The buildings they're finding aren't just simple shelters either. We're talking about structures with stone foundations that would make modern architects raise their eyebrows. One site revealed what appears to be a communal building with separate rooms. Basically, a prehistoric apartment complex minus the noisy neighbors and overpriced rent. Carbon dating puts some of these finds at over 4,000 years old. That's older than the pyramids, older than Stonehenge, and definitely older than that leftover takeout in the back of your fridge. The ice has preserved organic materials so well that scientists can actually tell what these ancient people ate for dinner. Spoiler alert, it wasn't pizza. The most recent discoveries include tools made from materials that definitely weren't local to Greenland. We're talking about copper from hundreds of miles away, which means these folks weren't just surviving. They were trading with other civilizations across vast distances. They had a better international trade network than my attempts at ordering something online that actually arrives on time. Some of the building sites show evidence of multiple construction phases, suggesting these weren't just temporary camps. These people knew what they were doing, and they planned to stick around. The architectural skill involved makes modern flat-pack furniture assembly look like child's play. The deeper archaeologists dig, the more they realize those ancient Inuit stories weren't just stories after all. Each discovery lines up perfectly with their oral histories, like pieces of a puzzle clicking into place. Now, everyone's asking the big question. Who exactly were these mysterious builders that the Inuit ancestors spoke about? In 2007, the archaeological community got shocked when the first major discovery came to light, shedding new light on this ancient mystery. The head researcher reportedly said something that can't be printed in family-friendly publications. What they found wasn't just a few scattered tools, 
It was evidence of a civilization that predated the Vikings by thousands of years. Let's put this in perspective. When the Vikings showed up in Greenland around 985 AD, they thought they were the first ones there, besides the Inuit, whom they largely ignored. Not their proudest moment. Much like teenagers thinking they invented everything, the Vikings were about as wrong as you can get. Carbon dating showed that some settlements were built around 2400 BC. That's when Egypt was still figuring out how to stack rocks into pyramids. The artifacts tell us these weren't just any settlers. The copper tools found at the sites came from regions hundreds of miles away, suggesting these people had trade routes that would make Amazon's delivery network look small time. They were master craftsmen who could work with materials ranging from stone to animal bone, creating tools so well designed that modern reproductions can't quite match their quality. The DNA analysis of organic materials found at the sites suggests these people weren't just one group, but a mix of different cultures. It's like finding out your quiet suburban neighborhood was actually the ancient equivalent of New York City. The evidence shows influences from several Arctic cultures, some of which we previously thought never made it to Greenland. The buildings they left behind tell us even more. Unlike the later Viking settlements that were built mostly above ground, these structures show sophisticated engineering that took advantage of natural insulation. They basically invented underground heating before someone thought of putting radiators in houses. Some archaeologists joke that they should patent these ancient designs. They're that good, but perhaps the most mind-blowing discovery was finding musical instruments. That's right. These weren't just survivors, they were creating art and music under the northern lights. They carved flutes from bird bones and made drums from stretched animal skins. One archaeologist commented that they probably had better entertainment than most modern Arctic research stations. Recent analysis of their tool-making techniques revealed something even more surprising. These ancient craftspeople had developed methods that weren't rediscovered until the Industrial Revolution. They had figured out ways to temper materials to prevent cracking in extreme cold, a technique that modern engineers didn't perfect until the 20th century. It's like finding out your great-great-grandparents had secretly invented the internet but forgot to tell anyone. The pieces of their story are still coming together like a 4,000-year-old jigsaw puzzle where half the pieces are still frozen. But one thing's becoming clear. These weren't just tough folks who managed to survive in a harsh climate. They were innovators who built a thriving civilization in one of Earth's most challenging environments. The real question that keeps archaeologists up at night isn't just who these people were. It's what could have possibly made them pack up and leave such a successful settlement behind. After all, civilizations don't just vanish overnight, usually. But this one pulled a disappearing act that would make David Copperfield jealous. The evidence shows that around 1400 BC, something made these master builders pack up their impressively crafted bags and head out. The question is, what could make someone abandon their heated floors and well-insulated homes? Climate data extracted from ice cores tells us the first part of the story. Greenland's temperature dropped by about 4 degrees Celsius over just a few decades. That might not sound like much. It's the difference between jacket weather and coat weather for us. But for crops and hunting patterns, it was like someone switched the seasons to permanent winter mode. The archaeological evidence paints a picture of a gradual exodus rather than a panic. Tools and valuable items were carefully packed up and taken away, not abandoned in a rush. These people may have been facing a crisis, but they handled it with the same precision they used to build their underground heating systems. They even took time to properly close up their buildings, like responsible tenants giving their two weeks' notice to Mother Nature. Some scientists think it wasn't just the cold that drove them away. Analysis of hunting remains shows a dramatic change in the types of animals available. The larger land mammals they relied on started moving south as the temperature dropped. It's like your favorite restaurant moving to another city. Eventually, you might have to follow the food. A fascinating theory emerged when researchers found traces of volcanic ash in the ice layers from that period. Three major eruptions occurred within a century, each one pumping enough ash into the atmosphere to dim the sun and cool the earth even further. Bad luck comes in threes, as they say, but... This was more like three consecutive cosmic kicks in the teeth. The soil samples tell another part of the story. The cooling climate changed the chemistry of the ground, making it harder to grow the hardy plants they'd cultivated. 
Gardens that once produced food became frozen wasteland. Their advanced agricultural knowledge, passed down through generations, became about as useful as a recipe for ice cream in the Arctic. But they didn't just disappear into thin air. Trade items from this civilization have been found in archaeological sites thousands of miles south, dating to the period right after they left Greenland. These people didn't vanish. They relocated their entire civilization, taking their advanced knowledge with them. They were like prehistoric digital nomads, except instead of looking for good Wi-Fi, they were searching for unfrozen soil. As archaeologists continue to discover new sites buried under the melting ice, one question becomes increasingly pressing. What can these ancient climate refugees teach us about adapting to a changing world? As we face the effects of climate change today, we're seeing a rapid transformation. Every summer since 2019, Greenland's ice sheet has been melting faster than a popsicle in July. While climate scientists pull their hair out over this fact, archaeologists are having a field day. The retreating ice reveals new sites faster than you can say ancient civilization. In 2023 alone, researchers identified 15 new locations that might contain preserved settlements. The technology they're using to explore these sites would make our ancient friends scratch their heads in amazement. Drones equipped with ground-penetrating radar map entire valleys in days, a job that would have taken months just 10 years ago. One researcher joked that they found more artifacts in a week than Indiana Jones found in his entire career, and without having to dodge any rolling boulders. But it's not just about finding cool old stuff. Each new discovery rewrites our understanding of human adaptation. These ancient builders figured out solutions to problems we're still grappling with today. Their building techniques used 50% less fuel for heating than modern Arctic research stations. That's right. We're getting schooled in energy efficiency by people who thought the wheel was cutting-edge technology. The preservation of these sites is turning into a race against time. As the ice melts, organic materials that have been perfectly preserved for thousands of years start to deteriorate within weeks of exposure. It's like nature's version of those messages that self-destruct in spy movies, except these messages are 4,000 years old and tell us how to survive in extreme environments. DNA analysis of recently uncovered human remains is providing another plot twist. Geneticists have found markers that show up in modern populations across the Arctic region, suggesting these ancient Greenlanders didn't just disappear, their descendants might be living next door. It's like finding out your neighbor's family tree has roots deeper than your building's foundation. The newest research project, set to launch next spring, will use artificial intelligence to predict where more settlements might be hidden. By analyzing patterns in already discovered sites, computers can point archaeologists to the most promising locations. The ancient builders might have used stars to navigate, but were using satellites to find their homes. As more pieces of this frozen puzzle emerge from the ice, each discovery adds another chapter to this remarkable story of human ingenuity and survival. A story that began with Inuit legends, was preserved by ancient ice, and now continues to unfold through modern technology, reminding us that sometimes the greatest mysteries aren't in distant galaxies or deep oceans, but right beneath our feet.